All right, guys, welcome back to Exotic Car Hacks. And today we're gonna to be looking at three ways you could be hacking money into your pocket in 2023 using the Exotic Car Hacks program. So we've talked about this several times when it comes to uh, should you be renting out an exotic or not? But the reality is perhaps if you're doing Turbo or something else, renting your car out could make you potentially some money. But realistically, remember, I have never recommended doing this. Now, partially, this is the reality that renting your car out to your friend for a day at a rate of, let's say, $800 to uh, $1,500, depending on what it is, could be beneficial if you think about like someone responsible, someone good with the car, you could be talking about maybe three times even a month, that would pay significantly more than any type of payment you would have on a 100K car. So this is one way that you could get paid in 2023 using the hack model, buying a car at the right dollar, leveraging it for one or two rentals a month to people that you really trust, and then growing. But remember, I never recommend this. There is a real problem with doing this, which is that if something was to happen to the car, your insurance would have a field day, like with not only paying you, but never allowing you to next time ever buy an exotic car and putting you on their insurance again. So that's basically destroying your dream for very little money. However, there are two other ways that could not only earn you really good money, but also give you an opportunity to leverage the hacking program for really what it is. One of the things that people don't look at when it comes to hacking is they don't look and understand that hacking isn't just flipping. Now, it is true that the second way that you could be making money is flipping in the sense that if you didn't care for exotic car ownership and what you cared about was just buying low and selling high, it is true that using our methodology at the time of the buy, at the very moment when you inquire and acquire the car, you have an opportunity to immediately turn around and make about 10 to 20% on the car if you bought it correctly. So if you think about that, that's basically your opportunity to say, hey, I bought something for 70,000, I'm going to make seven to $10,000 on this item immediately. Part of the reason why flipping isn't hacking is because it is preventing you from having the ultimate exotic car experience, which is to actually own it, meet people, et cetera, which takes us to a third and most incredible way to make money car hacking in 23, and it's called networking. One of the things people don't understand when it comes to networking is that the power of meeting people comes from a very different place when you come from a place of an equal rather than a place of service. This is something I've been trying to teach people for the last 20 years as I've been teaching on the internet is that you have to understand that there is a real power to being included in certain segments based on your financial capacity. So what does that mean? You did, during my entire banking career, when I was much younger, I used to drive a Lamborghini Gallardo and my boss used to always tell me, well, we're bankers. We don't want people to think we're making that kind of money. Or he used to tell me, well, we don't, we, we don't want to portray that bankers are rich or, or doing that well. And I was like, why not? And he was like, well, because it makes our clients uncomfortable. This moron, this dipshit actually believed that, you know, showcasing success had a negative quotation and therefore our clients were conservative idiots. When in reality, using that Gallardo, I would close over 300% over any other sales lead in any department as a result of just pulling up in a Lamborghini. Why? Because clients wanted to invest with someone who was equally successful as them, someone who already showed his capacity for managing his own money and growing his own money above and beyond what is possible. So therefore, they were much more likely to trust me with money, with a hundred grand, with a million dollars of their money to invest rather than a colleague of mine that drove a Nissan Maxima and wore a Macy suit versus I showed up in a $150,000 Gallardo and a Hugo Boss suit. And that got them to really pay attention to the idea that, hey, I'm investing with someone else who's equally successful as me in his own business. And this is something very important that people miss. When you hack a car, people think automatically like, well, what exotic car ownership is, is about driving the car, enjoying the noise in the mountains. No, guys, part of that experience is as a car enthusiast, we all have that. You wanna take your car to Taylor the Dragon? You wanna enjoy your run with your friends? You wanna go to Supercar Saturday? You wanna go to Cars and Coffee Sunday? Do these things, that's great. That's an incredible opportunity to showcase your ride, proud and everything else, it doesn't make a difference. The real power of owning exotic cars 
comes from the opportunity of networking and meeting incredible people and individuals who are not only really awesome because they also have success in their own field, but also individuals who share a passion but are all experts at different things. Imagine how many people you'd meet if you're like, hey, who in my exotic car club knows the best plumber, the best banker, the best this, the best that? It doesn't matter. The point is when you come across from a place of equality, you create a place, you come from a place of inclusion and you're let in on the secret. And the secret is that other people's networks and other people's capacity open to you as a result of hacking. So a lot of times people think that when we're talking about hacking cars or putting people in cars with exotic car hacks, we're talking about, hey, you need to hack a car because you need to save some money. No, you need to experience exotic car ownership because exotic car ownership is much more than just driving a better car for vanity. It's about the opportunities that open as a result of it. Now, if you still don't know what hacking is in 2023 and you haven't heard me talk about this for the last 10 years, in the description, there's an actual video you can watch that gives you a presentation on how to hack a car. What does it mean to do that? And of course, in the link in the description, you can also join Exotic Car Hacks, a community of over 20,000 plus incredible car hackers who have been able to get here, literally thinking they could never own a car, an exotic, for without 10 years of hard work, and now are able to hack a car in just 90 days and literally 10x their car without 10xing their payment or their opportunity. You could literally be in an exotic for as little as 300 a month, which is doesn't make sense for you not to be because of just this alone. Imagine if you drive a $300 a month Passat and you drive a $300 a month Maserati. I would argue that I understand that Maseratis are not quality exotics before someone tears me a new one. Well, you talk shit in the other video about Maseratis. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you had a Maserati Quattroporte, it would certainly open a lot more doors than a Volkswagen Passat and it would create a different perception. And yes, there is an asshole out there watching this video who's telling me, well, you don't need a car to be successful. No, you don't. That's not the point. The point I'm trying to make here is that the opportunities that open themselves as a car enthusiast to meeting other car enthusiasts who are all equally successful and capable of opening their network to you increases 5,000% when you come from a place of equality rather than a place of service. So a lot of times in my watch trading community, which we call Watch Trading Academy, those guys tell me, well, why should I have an exotic car? Well, simply put, imagine if you're trying to sell a five, ten thousand dollars watch and you show up in a $200,000 car. It is highly unlikely that someone believes you're gonna rip them off over five grand versus someone who pulls up in a beat up Corolla or Toyota and says, hey, uh, I'm selling this $5,000 watch. The first 10 things that come to normal people's minds is, is it fake? Why do you have it? Where did you get it? What's going on? Versus the guy with the Lambo, it's like, cool, I've never thought of owning such a watch. And boom, let's do business, let's be friends. It can open more doors than you've ever imagined and it can do so much more for you than ever before. So make sure right now, if you haven't, or learn how to do that, just go ahead and click the links in the description, learn this process, and more importantly, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll catch you next time at Exotic Car Hacks.